Hey y'all, good morning. Me and the kids are up bright and early. We are heading out of town to look at a builder this morning. I'm super excited. Um, this builder is out of state and high on our list. And um, we're also looking at some land because this builder offers land. And I've already seen the house, but I'm going to look at the house again to be sure because we are thinking that we're gonna be making some decisions very soon y'all know a house is a huge decision first of all so we just wanted to you know cross our t's and dot our i's look at the community the area how far our target is from the land and all that kind of stuff because <laughs> that's important so that's what we're going to do today it's actually a little bit closer um to my hometown even though it is in another state so i'm super excited about that so i want to take you guys along as much as i can i don't want to show too much of the house just for privacy reasons and also because the house has to get built this is just a model home that we're going to look at so the house that we will get will have to be built and yeah so i'm going to take you guys along so welcome to the vlog i'm sorry about the sun <laughs> right now i got like all dressed up and my kids were like oh my goodness they were like that's mommy that's mommy i said that's how you know that i never get dressed up like i'm always in the biker shorts and an oversized t-shirt that's my mom i got blood on my hands right now and i'm stumbling through the dark in the dawn I wanted to give you guys a update so we already met with the builder and anything everything I didn't show the property or anything like that because I'm just comfortable not comfortable sharing that right now but we are eating uh oh hold on baby we're eating chick-fil-a in the car we're still out of state because the property and the house and stuff was out of state but my kids are tearing up paper just throwing on the floor so great but we're now having like a dilemma my husband thinks that the land is gonna be like too much for me to upkeep because obviously I'm home all the time but the thing it the land um, I'll tell y'all it's two and a half acres uh, actually a little bit over two and a half acres but the thing is like all of the land isn't like land that you have to mow like there it's like your house and then you have a sodded area and then trees in the back like it's like that so it wouldn't be me mowing two and a half acres i would be mowing like half an acre which is standard our last house was like almost half an acre so nothing new there but landscaping and stuff like that obviously that comes with a house and that can get expensive so that's something to think about but we would have that either way, whether we get in an HOA community or this community, like none HOA community, we would still have that, you, you know? So that's some things that we're thinking about. I love the house, I love the property, the area, everything seems fine to me. So that's really where we're at right now. We will make some decisions soon and decide if we want to move forward or if we will just keep looking. But this property does have everything that we would like. Also, it's not too far. It's actually closer to my hometown. Like, <laughs> it's in another state, but it's a couple of hours away from my hometown. So we'll be closer than we were where we're at now. I know it's, it's hard to explain this stuff without giving away my whole life story. <laughs> But so that's where we're at with the land and everything and the property. So hopefully we make, I know we'll make the best decision and the right decision, obviously for our family, but that's where we stand with it. But I loved it. Like when I went in, I was like, this was like home. I can see us there. And we can also park my husband's 18 wheeler on the property and we can park our travel trailer because it's ours it's land there's no like hoa or anything so that's good hey all it is the next day we got back from our road trip yesterday we did see i, I think i gave y'all an update on that already we are headed to do grocery pickup i ordered some groceries um and 
paper towel and stuff like that that we needed and i'm so thankful for grocery pickup because it is so freaking cold it was like 30 last night and tonight it's supposed to get to 20 so <laughs> i'm just like i was literally an icicle the house was at like 70 degrees which is that was fine so i bought an additional heater so um we'll have have one on the other side of the house as well because the kids i let them have that one obviously and i had a heated blanket and everything um i also had to cut the heat on last night <laughs> so yeah i'm about to go and pick up groceries and then i need to go to lowe's because we need to get some heated tape i can just be driving while i'm talking to you guys because i need to take out the trash in the trunk as well like i hate taking out the trash i'm just like i'm in a mood today so if y'all hear me complaining then it's just life complaining i'm obviously grateful for a roof of our heads and all the things but <laughs> i'm just aggravated i hate taking out the trash and i wish my husband was here to take out the trash and all the things but you know whatever i'm just blabbing and spleen so i want to go ahead and continue the vlog today i want to really do something fun with the kids but i don't know if we will be able to because it's 55 degrees and i'm praying that they do not get sick because the weather changes and stuff we've been keeping up with all the vitamins and all the things but y'all know that stuff only goes so far we've already been dealt with that and just all the things that mom life entails so adding on a sickness when i'm solo parenting would be like the death of me <laughs> truly i, I haven't done I mean. grocery pickup in so long but it used to be that if you got like something that you didn't order say that you ordered 10 potatoes and they didn't have that that would substitute it for a bigger bag of potatoes well now they have it to where if there's something on there that you ordered if they don't have it then they just substitute it and you have to get whatever you know if they want to substitute you have to pay the difference which i think is so unfair because it's like y'all need to be in stock with stuff <laughs> Like it's it's Walmart is a multi-million billion dollar corporation like and so many of us shop there so I don't know I feel like you just shop where you want to shop at because at this point none of the prices are good anywhere like everything is like pretty neck and neck even Aldi and Walmart I feel like they are even neck and neck with the prices because when I go to Aldi I spend like the same amount um i'm still in the like parking lot area that's why i have it my seatbelt i never ride without my seatbelt <laughs> but about to go pick these groceries up and head to lowe's because we need some heating tape to wrap around our water hose because um people recommended like a guy at the campground he came up to me and he was like hey um do you have a heated water hose and i was like no he was like well you might want to get one um because you know if it drops below freezing like i told y'all last night it was 30 degrees that's snowing weather <laughs> so i was like okay you know well i'll look into getting a heated water hose do y'all know heated water hoses are like two hundred dollars i have found just got done picking up groceries and now I am at McDonald's getting the kids some of those Boo um, Kids Meals. I don't remember them as a kid. Maybe we did have them, but I'm going to start doing it with my kids because I think it's so cool. So you get like a trick-or-treating basket along with a Happy Meal. So they're going to be super happy. Ways, but no, I can't be These are the cute little Kids Meal boxes that you get. I got all the kids one. <laughs> So pretty much I just put the Happy Meal in one of these things, but so cool, huh? Okay, I'll do a quick haul because I never do this. So we got another heater because it's getting below like freezing. So we needed another heater, some RV tissue. I thought I only got one of these, but we can always use two of them because we have tissue now, but I just don't like the kind that we have. So RV tissue. We got some shells and cheese. I normally get the um, name brand kind, the Velveeta, but these were like $4 cheaper for like double the amount. So I went with those and we needed some paper towels. We got some bread because I'm gonna be making grilled cheese. 
Winter got her first teeth. So, well, she has like four now. So, it's time for a toothbrush. So, I got her a toothbrush and the kids needed toothpaste. A block of cheese for grilled cheese. Some Bob Evans mash. This is the best mashed potatoes. They literally taste homemade. I got some blueberries because I eat these so much. It's honestly sickening. And some strawberries. I got a frozen thing of corn. An onion. Some green beans. I got these biscuits and this Jimmy Dean sausage because I was planning on making homemade sausage gravy and biscuits. But I didn't know this can of biscuits was so small. But it should be fine i got some pretzels because we're out the kids love pretzels some goldfish they have showed interest in goldfish now so got those some lettuce i got the other kind um that's in like the little pack but this is all they had so it should be fine i got some dole juice some chocolate milk sugar-free creamer orange juice and almond milk and all of this was like a hundred and ten dollars It is the next day, y'all. I don't know how much footage I have or how many days long this vlog is. We just got back home from doing laundry and I am making some BLTs. I'll show you guys here in just a second. We always, let me see if I can show you guys this. We always use like sharp cheddar cheese or a block of cheese and cut it up. It's so good that way. Some beefsteak tomatoes, lettuce butter because i got to toast the bread bacon already cut the tomatoes some cheese and lettuce and the buns and we're making some more bacon over here and of course leftover coffee from mcdonald's yesterday <laughs> so good i got blood on my hands right now and i'm stumbling through the dark in the dawn Hopefully y'all can see me, hear me good. The kids are in there in their room. Eyebrows are looking a mess because, I mean, they're drawn on. <laughs> and I was about to take makeup and all that off. Oh my gosh, this looks so bad, but whatever. Um, I've had like a rough day today. And when I say rough, I mean a rough day. It's just like solo parenting is very hard and i am just not the one to sugarcoat it i love my kids to death but it's been a hard day um exhibit one of why it's been a hard day <laughs> i am over here right now packing some snacks to go in our big snack bag so this way nobody wants to see the trash <laughs> but Packing these snacks to go in our big snack bag in the diaper bag. And also, I am going through the diaper bag right now and seeing what we have. Like, I see like only one diaper and what clothes I have packed in there so I can get some winter clothes out in case the kids have accidents. Extra pad. I need to go through their medicine bag. Just stuff like that that I need to do. Make sure that we're prepared at all times. Fill up the extra water. Just little things like that. Part of mom life. So I will show you guys what I come up with. That was my foot doing that. <laughs> so I'll show you guys what I come up with. Just mom life never ends. I have some everything in here, y'all. Let me keep that in there. Yeah, I'll show you guys what the end result is for this. <laughs> I had to move everything over to the counter because my phone is on the charger over here but okay so i have this little makeup bag i got it from amazon like when i think winter was born 
So I've had it for a long time. A whole bit fault. So in this makeup bag, I just have like no stuff, digital thermometer, hand sanitizer. You really don't have to have like the cough syrup and all that, but I just keep it in here because we travel a lot. But the main thing is like having like Tylenol or something to break a fever, whatever you prefer. Vaseline, some kind of lotion because it gets cold. I even have, um, what's this, a uh, syringe to get the medicine out with and like Tylenol for me in case of an emergency, band-aids, like all the things that you would need if the world was ending and you, you needed to get away. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so this is what I got. This is what I have. And then for the snack bag, I told y'all I got these reusable snack bags from Walmart with a two pack for four dollars my rings are right there because I had to do the kids here and I had grease all over my hand <laughs> but um I just have some like little muffin bites goldfish pretzels I have me a snack as well forks and spoons and I also keep like fruit cups down in there rice krispies just a bunch of grab and go snacks pretty much in case it's like a tire pops and we're on the side of the road or anything you know you never know what can happen and i've had so many instances where i needed to get up and go <laughs> like so many i can't even count on one hand anymore so these are essential for us especially with the weather getting colder y'all know be ready be ready so you don't got to get ready all right i got this backpack i told you guys how i felt about this bag um I mean, there's a little stuff like that, the string and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's fine. It's done its job and it's been very good. There is like some peeling and stuff right there. In another video, I talked all about how I was feeling about it. I've had it for going on two years. That is crazy. Um, but we just have our like medicine bag on top. Then diapers and wipes because I grab these obviously the most. And under that, I have clothes for this season. Like I just got out all of the summer clothes and put the winter clothes in. And then I got the bottle of water, a couple of little toys over here. And then in the back, let's see. I can whip this baby around with one hand. In the back, I have. I have the changing pad back here and I think yeah I also have the diaper bag like to throw the dirty diapers in the bag for that and in this little side pocket I have a whole bunch <laughs> of socks because the kids kick them off we lose them so I just packed like five different pairs of socks in there and I also need to put extra pennies in there for my daughter just in case because you never know so y'all i get caught slipping without socks all the time and if i had my bigger diaper bag which i'm actually thinking that i'm going to go to the storage unit and get my bigger diaper bag i would put a blanket in here and um what else would i put i would also be able to fit the snack bag in here if i got my fair bradley diaper bag out the storage unit so i think i'm going to do that because I think that's kind of becoming essential to keep the snacks in here as well. So I'm probably going to go and do that so I can have everything in one place. And I do keep this in the car because it is just so easy not to carry a diaper bag in and out. <laughs> like when the kids are first born and stuff, you do things so different. Um, besides when you're like a veteran parent at this point, you do things so different. So yeah, always keep this packed. Make sure you have essentials in case of an emergency. And yeah, you're good to go. Once again, it's the next day, but me and the kids are headed into the park. Um, come on, buddy. <laughs> well, this is a lot of kids, but I try to get them outside every day because it's good for them and me. Come on. Come on. His little hunting outfit. <laughs> yeah, come on, buddy. Hopefully this park is open because we've never been to this one. We're at the same place, so they just have a park on the other side. Hey, come on, Autumn. Get over here. Come on, Kaysen. He's so cute with his little boots. 
Okay. So I have this bag packed the winter. My purse, dropper bag, snacks. Can't beat it. Yo, they love being outside so much. It is a beautiful day. It's not too cold, not too hot. This um stroller is actually pretty hard to like navigate with one hand. <laughs> um, but we make it work because it was like $160, I think. And we got it right before winter was born when we didn't even know that I was pregnant with winter actually. So that's why we just hold on to it. Yeah, this is like perfect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so perfect. We have it to ourselves. There is a whole bunch of people um, on the other side. There's a playground, but a lot of people don't know about this one. I didn't even know about it until a lady told me about it. So yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Did you want to get out, Wiener? You want to get out? <laughs> She's been walking. So maybe she'll want to walk, we'll see. Tire. What are these, K-Swiss? <laughs> Do y'all remember K-Swiss? I think that's what those are. <laughs> We're sitting here. The kids have already busted into all the snacks. <laughs> and Winna has been walking, y'all. I just took her shoes off of her feet because um, she has, well, these are Adidas. I thought they were K-Swiss. And I just noticed like, like they're not blisters, but her feet look red and stuff. So probably not gonna wear these anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know what the problem with that is, but they love the snacks. But this is the only water that I bought was my water cup. <laughs> um, they have waters in the car, but just up here with this. Careful baby, you okay? Big girl, dust it off. Say. <laughs> She's like, no dusting it off, mama. You're such a big girl. <laughs> She's eating her goldfish. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love being a mom. But I think I'm about to start editing this video right now because we're the only ones here at the park. And it's like so awesome. And the one on the other side is packed. Like this is like a little hidden gem. I'm so glad that I found it. <laughs> it's so nice having the park to yourself. Oh, that's a toy they're playing with. No more. Say goldfish. Good job, baby. <laughs> la, la, la. Here, get you some. She's like, I want the old bag. Here, let's get a couple of out. Here. They have just now started liking goldfish again. They used to not like them so much. Um, but yeah, it's having such a good time. I bought like change of diapers, clothes. I showed you guys last night, I packed the um, diaper bag. So that was like awesome timing, great. <laughs> Get my shades on because I plan on being here for like at least a couple of hours, you know, let them get their energy out. It's free. We're gonna go to the pumpkin patch, but I just don't think that I can handle all the kids at the pumpkin patch because, you know, the more kids in a space, the harder it is to like keep up with your kids and stuff. And then it's just like me taking them on myself. So I think that'll just be a little too much. Um, so I decided to take them to the park and let them get some energy out and we'll be here for a good little while. We just left out of Sam's Club. I got some more Cory. Strawberries, blueberries, some pears, and some cheese sticks. And the kids obviously had <laughs> samples that they loved. I am sitting down editing this vlog right now. It's the same night. It's a cool flat Friday night. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> We're so boring. Um, but I was hopping on because I realized that I didn't close out the vlog. And also, yeah, I think that's it. I want to also mention, though, that I post on Instagram literally every single day um, because I'm trying to grow my following and stuff over there. And also just, you know, it's way quicker. I don't have to, like, edit and stuff. So I wanted to leave my handle right here. So please go and follow me on Instagram. It would truly mean the world to me. And I love, like, talking to you guys. I try to answer all of my DMs. Hey, can we stop fighting, please? <laughs> They're eating um those 
let me show them the Velveeta mac and cheese cups before bed. <laughs> Wall Friday night over here, but I'll leave my handle right here. Please go over there and follow me and message me. I love talking to y'all and it's just way easier, like I said. So I will see you guys next time. I'm not sure if this video will go up Monday or Wednesday, but whenever it does, please like it. Please comment y'all. Um, I know I don't comment on a lot of people's videos because I'm just like, well, you know, I just don't. But if you watch my videos, please comment. I like to know who's watching and like talk to you guys. I promise I am not shy. I used to be shy, but I'm not shy anymore. And I love talking to you guys. <laughs> so comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. But no, I can't be the one that you need.